Hi Glee fans, welcome to part 3 of season 4, episode 21, Wonderful. This episode feels really awkward to me, I do not know why. Might just be because it's after midnight, and it also might just be because I'm really tired and I have to go to work. Who knows? But I think everyone feels a little bit off this episode. The editing's wonderful though. Um, yeah, yeah. The character, it's just so packed. And Mercedes, Mercedes keeps saying things that I do not agree with at all. And it feels like, Mercedes, you're forcing your experience onto other people. Not bad. But, um... Okay, let's get back to the show. Awkward. Awkward. Kurt's got his <laughs> Oh when Bert's wording it along. Is it I don't know this oh. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Oh, Bert's just like, this is adorable. My son is adorable. Oh, you're so adorable. Lane loves you too. Why are you practicing in Cassie's room? Okay, I'm going to have five seconds of Rachel didn't know this, that she had to talk to a teacher beforehand, and she thought she could hide it when everyone in the school is Broadway obsessed. Oh, Rachel, you. Why? Are you missing that? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for me, too, and I plan on attending that callback because you have a tendency to choke under pressure. And so I'm going to be there with Barbara and her husband. 
and James Boland to watch you blow your first big Broadway audition. In the meantime, I change your return to tomorrow. What? Your every day. 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, you will perform the solo of the second act of Alan Sheen's 1941 masterpiece, Concerto Barocco, which is widely regarded as the most difficult ballet routine ever devised. Well, you're widely regarded as having one of the puffiest warning faces of any known human. It's going to be a great combination. Hmm. Rachel, she's buttering you up. Deep breaths. Take it. This week is about wonderful things. I want to celebrate wonderful talent. He's in the Greek club this year, but I think he'll help him with his confidence. He can lead us all the way to He can lead? Stop being so modest. Get your butt up here, Jake. Sam's like, I don't have dances skills. Kurt, what are you wearing? Okay, so Hmm. Did Kurt come in later and thus that's why he's not sitting next to Blaine, or is it a conscious decision not to sit next to Blaine? These aren't my songs. I mean, some of them are nice, but it's just like, I don't know. I love Stevie Wonder. I just not sure about most of his songs. You love an artist without loving their music. I don't know. I always love watching Stevie Wonder play. I think that's an idea of how he does things. Mercedes in the scene? Everyone is going to want to live with their fiance, and no one is going to be satisfied with me. 
Mercedes Jones. And you're crazy. You don't want to be in business with people like that. You're not actually considering, are you? I've been working on this album for a year. I need to come out. Have you been working? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I need to talk to my mom about this up next. Um. Curtain Mike, I'm glad you were concerned. Mercedes, don't you dare give in to those bastards. No matter what. Did you sign a contract with them? Okay, but still. Don't sacrifice your personal integrity to get a record out. Screw them. Really, screw them. Mercedes, sweetheart.